the brain is characterized by the presence of the sulci and the intervening raised areas which are known as the gyri this increases the number of neurons which are present within the limited area there are specific sulci are present in each lobe on the superolateral surface the most important sulcus is the is the central sulcus which separates the frontal lobe in front with the parietal lobe behind anterior to the central sulcus is the precentral sulcus and in between the two is the precentral gyrus the rest of the the rest of the frontal lobe is divided into a superior frontal gyrus a superior frontal sulcus a middle frontal gyrus a middle frontal sulcus and an inferior frontal gyrus and an anterior ramus and this of course is the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus these are the sulci and gyri of the frontal lobe on the superolateral surface of the cerebral hemisphere into the parietal lobe which is bounded above by the supra superomedial border behind by a line joining the parieto occipital sulcus to the pre occipital notch and inferiorly by the extension of the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus so this small lobe is the parietal lobe and most important sulcus in this lobe is the post central sulcus post central sulcus the rest of the lobe is divided into a superior parietal lobule and an inferior parietal lobule in the temporal lobe bounded by the posterior ramus of the lateral sulcus by the infralateral border and by this particular line joining the parieto occipital sulcus to the pre occipital sulcus this particular lobe is the temporal lobe of the brain here we have the superior temporal gyrus superior temporal sulcus next to this is the middle temporal gyrus and the inferior temporal sulcus and the lowest is the inferior temporal gyrus coming to the occipital lobe which is pointed on the superolateral surface there is a it is divided into a superior occipital part and an inferior occipital part 